Hello guys, welcome back to another episode with Lady D. It's your girl Jimshu Delays, and if this is your first time of coming across my channel, you're so guys, seriously, I am tired of this intro. Like I don't like this intro anymore. Even that when you go to YouTube, 90% of YouTubers. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time of coming across my channel, you're so welcome. You're so, really. I am tired of this intro. Like I need something different and something new. So I hope by when I'm coming up with the next video, I'll have something different. Really, we'll see. But I'm tired of this intro. But we'll just we'll still use it. By the way, if this is your first time coming across this channel, you're so welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe before leaving. To my real G's, always supporting. Thank you guys. So guys, it's still Christmas period. December, Christmas is the time for reconciliation. Christmas is the time for forgiveness. I just want to remind you all that this period is a period of love, is a period of reconciliation, is a period of forgiveness. In fact, this period brings out so much joy and happiness that if you cannot partake of it, you don't know what you're missing in your life. Be it an adult, be it a kid. You have to partake in this period, like you have to grab something from this December period, okay? Guys, today it's a recap of my year 2022, how my year has been. You know, December is the last month of the year, and we have barely two weeks for 2023 to come in. How has your year been? How will you see? How do you see when you sit to evaluate your year? what did you do do you see any progress do you see any difference has something changed that's just what i want to do here today and um let me start by saying this color purple has been my color of the year like i fell in love with purple like around february i see, last year year before last i loved royal blue and that's how my colors just it, it changes with time so it's not like this is going to be my best color i don't have any preference in colors apart from black yes i love black very much like 99 percent of my things are black a few have mixed colors but you see purple is purple has been my color of the year like 2022 purple has been my color of the year and then when i went into search what purple symbolizes guess what i saw purple symbolizes strength which i'm a very strong person purple symbolizes royalty it symbolizes luxury it symbolizes independence and i am very very independent like way back i have been independent like for years way back so independence it symbolizes wealth it symbolizes ambition very ambitious too so this is very ambitious so it symbolizes a uh, transformation and uh, power in fact purple has so many symbolizes so many things and yes most of those things i have stated most of these things i have named here or i have stated here are things that describe me so so much i am all purple yes so you see why it was not by chance or by mistake that i fell in love with this color this year and yeah so many of these things strength power i demonstrated it throughout this year ambitious independence and stuff like that i demonstrated it throughout this year and i can proudly say this color purple really symbolizes who i am my 2022 has been a year like other years but with a difference because I will not say it has been my best year or my bad, my worst year. Because if I were to say best year and 2023 comes and it's a whole different something with so many things and so many new things that will make me proud of myself. So 2022 obviously won't be my best year anymore. And if I say it's, it has been the worst year, obviously 2023 will still come and surprise me and... I would see that 2022 has really not been my worst year so it has been a year like other years other years but with it it has been different in its own way like 
it has its own particular particular things that happened. Twenty twenty two, so much has been achieved, financial wise. Yes, a girl loves money. Yeah, and I work for the money, so I love it. It has been a great year, financial wise, spiritual wise. What again? Mental wise. <laughs> socially wise in fact it has been a great year because so much has been achieved in my life like i have achieved so much that when i sit i look at myself and i'm like zilis your match no day for the earth this year has been a good one it came with its ups and downs but then the the the, the beauty of it is that unlike other past years i knew how to handle my ups and downs so so well and it worked for me this year started january first thing january is always yeah january is a month where people are crying because you spend a lot during december during christmas and new year's and celebration so january is a year that people cry a lot but really i did not feel that and january 24th is my birthday so my year starts immediately i 24th of January, immediately the 24th of January clocks. That's when my year starts for me since I am in the first month of the year. January 24th, that's when my year starts. And 2022 started so well. I first thing I achieved, all right. <laughs> the first thing I achieved was shaving my hair and tinting it ox blood. That was an achievement for me because it's something that I could never imagine myself doing. I used to enjoy it on people. I see it and I'm like, wow, it's really nice. But I've never had the courage of doing that. I don't know why. I've never had the courage of doing that. I, my elder sister shaves, my junior sister shaves. And I, first of all, I valued my hair so much because I have a problem of hair growth. So I valued my hair so much so that even if it's one strand that is pulled out, I would really feel it. But then taking the courage, shaving a five year nappy that I kept for five years. Imagine, I have a problem of hair growth and I keep my hair for my nappy hair for five years with so much love and care. Then deciding to shave it is an achievement for me. You don't know how it feels. So, my first achievement was shaving my hair and tinting it out blood. That was on the 20th. I shaved on the 23rd and my birthday was on, 20, on the 24th of January. So I was like, Zilis, this year you have to do new things. You have to dare. You have to try new things. Don't remain. Go out of your comfort zone. Like, explore the world. And the first exploration was shaving my hair and tinting it up with blood. Man, that was an achievement for me. That was the first thing I achieved. So I was like, 2022, as I have shaved, as I have dared to do something that I really have never imagined myself doing it that was a big step for me that was daring that was leaving my comfort zone and that's how my year just went through nothing scared me nothing weighed me down nothing made me to regret and nothing made me to regret regret my decisions there is nothing this year that really scared me nothing from shaving to my business and from, from my things were just whatever happens i take it be it good or bad i had no regrets at all when i look back through my year there's nothing i regret doing whether it brought me positive or negative uh, results i don't regret anything i don't expect something to be really huge before i am happy no I am grateful to God for every little thing that I achieved in my life this year. And I am praying for greater achievements. Okay? I'm hoping for greater achievements. This year, I worked extra hard compared to the past years. This year, I refused to allow anything weigh me down. Financial wise, we achieved so much, like money was made. Spiritual wise, our relationship with God just went from this to this to this to this, and it's still going. So there's no, there are no regrets. We don't regret anything. I left from 
just being me to discovering who Dilis really is. Like, I used to live like I am Dilis, but I really did not know who Dilis was. So, I left from just being me to discovering who Dilis is. And right now, so much, I mean, I know who I am right now. I am not more just Dilis, but I am so much more. Personal growth, wow, so much has been achieved. Like, I cannot even be explaining things to you guys here, but just know that personal growth is one of the most important things I worked on during, like throughout this year. Personal growth has been one of the most important thing I worked on. Trying to find purpose, trying, trying to know more about myself, trying to know the people around me, trying to know what is good and what is not good for me. Finding peace, oh my God finding peace too is one of the things i achieved this year like i left from literally worrying about everything to trusting god with everything because i used to worry a lot i worry a lot about the tiniest things to the greatest things i worried a lot i felt like the world is falling on me the world is going to fall on me People's problems I carry on my head, my own problems I carry on my head, my family issues I carry on my head. In fact, my friends' problems I carry on my head. I used to worry just a lot about little things, things that people would even see that have no, have no meaning, but I worried so much about them. But then I found peace, and I'm like, why worry about these things when you can only, when you, all you need to do is just to trust God and let Him do His thing. He said, bring your burdens to me and I will help you carry them. Why should you stress yourself carrying something that someone up there has said, bring it. I love them. Let me help you carry. I found peace this year. I will not lie to you guys. I found peace. Peace as in peace. Peace with myself. Peace with the people around me. And that was, I, I think, that's one of my greatest achievements. Forget about the other things that have been saying, financial wise and stuff like that. Personal growth is something that I have achieved this year like never before. And it keeps getting better. Like nothing weighs me down. Don't worry. I don't allow it to weigh me down. I'm like, Father, let your will be done. Everything happens for my good. If he stopped me from getting to this particular place, if he stopped me from achieving this particular dream of mine, he has a reason for that. He is actually he is working something greater than that for me. He's preparing something bigger than that for me. Or maybe that thing was not good for me. Maybe that thing was supposed to bring something bad into my life, was supposed to make me run away from him. He has a reason for everything, so I don't worry anymore. Whatsoever happens to me, happens for a reason. I don't let it stress me out. No. You see, now I'm into beauty things, nails, uh, hair. I never dreamt of that. Not even to have a passion for it. Like, I come, I used to come and visit my elder sister at her workshop, and she's working and doing things and i'm just like watching it does i don't even show interest to that no interest but all of a sudden i'm like this why not try this thing i wasn't trying it for the money purpose for the purpose of money but just i felt like sitting here being used to fish business yes it's quite good that it brings so much revenue but Try something different. Explore. You said you wanted to explore, right? Try something different. Do something different. If and the moment I tried, the first time I did nails was on my finger. The moment I tried it and it was nice. The way I was happy about that, it was like an achievement of the year. I was so proud of myself. So there are things that you sit and you really don't, you have never dared. You don't even know how you feel if you do it. Happy that I could do something like that. Because I've been sitting and just watching. I don't even put uh, show interest to it. But the moment I did it on my hand and I saw it was nice, I'm like, Dilly, no, we are not letting. That's that day I started showing interest. I've not trained, like, I've not go through particular a proper training 
train how to be a nail tech no but from that day i started showing interest my other side is working with clients i observe and stuff like that and i just started working with clients like that i did not go through training like you are supposed to do this and that i just observed that was that's that's an achievement too for me leaving my comfort zone to doing something i've never imagined myself that the people that do because of passion and stuff like that. yeah that's it this year too i learned how to do week installations so guys the good thing about this year is that i decided not to let anything weigh me down i decided not to worry about anything but i this i also decided to trust god with anything that happens in my life like trusting him with my whole life like father i surrender everything into your hands anything that happens i'm like god let your will be done i know it is for my good i might not see it now i might not see see it now like that this thing you're doing is going to it's for me but in the nearest future i will come to realize that whatsoever happened in my life was for my own good i found peace this year personal growth and so many other things it has been a good year and I don't regret anything i met new people so many of them other some were my type of people like the people i would like to keep around me and others were the kind of people i don't want them around me so i left them behind and the ones that were my type of people i moved forward with them so 2022 was great and one thing too i learned this year is that a strong person is not one who doesn't cry but a strong person is one who cries shed tears for a moment and then stands back on his or her feet to fight again yeah so 2022 so many good things so many bad things but we decide to rely on the good things right and keep the bad things aside we learned our lessons from the bad things but we are moving forward with the good things hoping that 2023 is going to be much more greater than 2022 thank you guys for watching this far please don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to click on the notification button so that each time i drop a video here you will get notified Thank you so much for watching this farm. Bye-bye.